hello world. We're off. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us tonight for our third installment of the Mazzoni Duo live in concert from our living room here in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, we've really enjoyed uh, presenting these events to you, and I hope it's a blessing to you as much as it's a blessing to us to prepare this music and share it with you. Uh, tonight's performance is actually called Hope Springs Eternal. That was my idea, and part of the reason I chose that was because we have a lot of uncertainty, as many people do right now, about the, what's going to happen in the future. It's a very different time to be alive, um, and yet we know our hope is in Christ. And we know that that is eternal. My and so God. we're so thankful to be able to bring these three pieces to you tonight that really, we feel like, embody that hopeful spirit. So I'm going to punch it over to Matt here. He's going to talk about our first, <laughs> first piece. Um, by the way, just a little uh, I don't know, caveat or, or a little disclaimer. Nothing that we're going to play tonight was written for the flute. Um, it's so all unashamedly stolen. stolen from other places. <laughs> yes. So the first piece we're stealing and playing for you tonight is... Uh, sonata by Ludwig van Beethoven, uh, his famous Spring Sonata. Uh, the th uh, what is, uh, things that are beautiful about this piece, it represents nature. And it, for Beethoven, um, he really found he connected with uh, a divine quality and a transcendent beauty in nature. And these beautiful summer days that we've been having um, remind us of that. Uh, there's a, a, a verse in the, in the Bible, and it's the beginning of Psalm 119, that goes, the heavens declare the glory of God. And there you see um, the sense of the beautiful and, and, and that it's not just beautiful to look at, but that it's transcendently beautiful. So this piece contains those images of nature all over, beautiful lyrical melodies. Um, the second movement is like two, two lovers under a tree. You'll hear birds, you'll hear horses, you hear all kinds of sounds written into this work. It's four movements long, and we're delighted to bring it to you.
I'm just thirsty, so I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our next pieces are three songs, three songs for voice and piano, originally written by Claude Debussy. And one of the beautiful things about these is that they all take place outside. Jennifer will help. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. My French is not good. So, uh, so the first piece is uh, Nuit de Toi, which means Night of Stars. And the second one is Bonsoir, which is um, Fair Evening, Beautiful Evening. And the third one is a song is actually called Mandoline. And the reason we chose each of these, first of all, as a flutist, um, I love Debussy. And Debussy, I think, loved the flute, so I think the feeling is mutual. Um, but, you know, his, his melodies and his harmonies are just, they're just beautifully suited for this instrument. So even though these are songs and you do um, really want to respond to the text that he uses, you can even hear that without knowing what the words are, which I think is really amazing about Debussy. Um, and secondly, these pieces really reminded us of nature. I mean, the first one is you're gazing at the starry night and you're remembering um, you know, at the end of each phrase, he talks about um, the, the dream of a past love. And it's just like he's got this very beautiful and evocative um, sound to it. The second one is you're looking out into the ocean and you're seeing these waves come up. And the, the piano has the waves come up on the shore. And, um, and it's just this gorgeous melody on top of that. Um, really, it's, a, it's very contemplative and beautiful. And the third one we just chose because we wanted something lively to end the set. Uh, but it's really fun. It's, it's called Mandoline. And it just has this sense of, of a fun party. And, and hopefully, uh, we're all looking forward to those fun parties uh, sometime in the future. So um, here's three songs by WC. Let me get my pages in order. Oh. 
transcribe it in my head, which we'll see how that, we've been playing quite a bit. Uh, but anyway, and we've actually loved playing this. I think we've probably mm -hmm. performed this several times. Um, and what, just what I love about this piece is, you know, it is minor. It's got a lot of gypsy elements to it, uh, but it does have hope. It's so resilient. And the Rondo theme, it comes over and over again. It's got this, this flair to it. It's almost Spanish, which being half Puerto Rican, I definitely resonate with the Spanish rhythms. Uh, but it also just, it has a sense of resilience, and it just never gives up. And, of course, the end is this glorious A major coda. And so we thought it was a nice way to end this recital. Um, you know, hope springs eternal. That's, I guess, all. Okay, now we're starting. <laughs> Thank you. 
night. Hope you had a lovely evening. You know, keep in touch, and we'll let you know about the next time we do an event. Yep. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.